recently my algo has been dominated by the comedian Matt Rife, mainly on YouTube shorts, his uh, razor sharp crowd work. And uh, yeah, Matt Rife is a handsome fella, a funny fella, and he's rocking gay face. And uh, gay face is curious because I think if you cast your mind back to growing up in the playground, pretty boy was a common slur, but gay face is kind of uh, something slightly different or maybe a subset of pretty boy because pretty boy could be directed at someone who had, I don't know, extra high cheekbones or luxurious hair, but they, their their kind of uh, sexuality wouldn't be questioned. Whereas gay face, it seems to be something from God where it's like, yeah, let's make this man extremely attractive to women and gay men. Like if you were a, uh, if you're a bisexual with gay face, that would be fucking winning the, winning the lottery. But it's a curious phenomenon. And I suppose the one thing that I've been wondering about is that women, do women like gay face dudes with gay face also this is completely uh contextual right first of all matt rife i'm assuming is a heterosexual man uh from my very very light research i i believe that he is and to be clear he's crushing it with the women undoubtedly uh i believe he dated fucking kate beckinsale after uh Big old Pete Davidson got in there, skeet. Um, but yeah, so he's crushing it. But I guess what's interesting is that I don't know much about this topic, but the the trajectory that I've noticed is that women, when they're younger, they're like more androgynous looking men. They like the K-pop boys. They like the One Direction boys. Because when you're a 14-year-old girl contending with the fact that you may have to knock boots with a Tony Soprano looking motherfucker. <laughs> you have to knock boots with Tony Soprano to have a family and keep this human race going. That's got to be a lot to handle uh, mentally when you're a young gal. So you ease your way into it with the K-pop and One Direction pretty boys. And then as you get older, it seems as if women are okay with they become increasingly okay with a Tony Soprano fucking Bruce of a bloke, the provider, the protector. Like uh, I saw this, you know, on Instagram, you have the search function and then Instagram's like, here's a hundred photos and videos you don't care about. The other day I was on there and there was one for some reason where it was like a family photo shoot, cute family, uh, husband, wife and their two teenage daughters and the girls were all dolled up they're all kind of like uh you know wearing uh color matching outfits and the the mother and the two kids look cute and the dad had clearly been dressed by the wife and he was this big fucking beefy bruce of a bloke and uh he was like a a strong guy um, not, I, I guess not particularly handsome, but not particularly ugly, but it struck me because he was like almost, uh, just an accessory, just the, just the fucking, the hired hand, the, the muscle in the family where he looked almost like the bouncer hanging out with his family. And it got me thinking that like, at a certain point, do women want a Bruce because if you get a Rifey, if you get a Matt Rife with those luscious DSLs, how do you compete with that as you as you age as a woman? You know, you want to be the cute one with your kids and being the fucking star of the family photo shoot. If you shacked up with Rifey and you're competing with them DSLs, you got to fucking get down to the Botox clinic twice weekly to compete. So maybe that's the thing is that women are like, yeah, you know what? let's go for a Bruce at a certain point because this is too fucking tough. I want to be the star of the show. So how does it happen? And uh, 
You know, I guess I just like to try and get myself inside the mind of Matt Reif. Like I said before, he's crushing it with puss. And also the concept of gay face is very contextual, right? Like on the internet, Matt Reif is like the gay face poster boy at the moment. But I don't know, in prison, anyone who's like moisturized once would be considered (laughs) like the, the prettiest gay face up in this bitch so you know i'm I'm not picking on the man but he he does seem to be fit fit the bill for this particular thought experiment but it's just interesting to imagine like what goes on for a guy like that let's take rife out of the equation for a second because he's famous and he's in show business he's got millions of followers so even if he looked like the back end of a truck because he's a funny guy and he's got all those followers. He'd have no issues picking up women, but let's say you're a Matt Reif equivalent, but you're a fucking accountant. And would your gay face prevent you from hooking up? Like there was this kid I went to high school with where he spoke like this and he's like, I'm not gay. I just got a gay voice, (laughs) which sounded like a cope. I went to school A while ago now, and there was no kids who were like out of the closet. I've got no idea whether if this kid ended up being gay. I think he was. And it, I don't know, like, it just got me thinking, like, as a straight woman, could you date someone like that? Uh, Hello, hello, Mr. Sullivan. Can't wait to eat your daughter's pussy later. (laughs) Like, if you're a, a straight woman, you'd prefer. You prefer gay face as opposed to gay voice, surely. And um, yeah, imagine just being a fucking Chad, just being like in in amazing shape, symmetrical face, but you're rocking some DSLs and there's something about the alignment of your face that seems to suggest that you're not just a pretty boy, it's that you're a homosexual. You're like, gay face is essentially an evolutionary trigger in everyone's mind saying, that person is too good looking to be straight. And if you're the guy, if you're the rifey in this situation, you must be going crazy because you're like, no, I am. I'm I'm straight as a fucking arrow and I want to fuck. Just and I've got DSLs. Everyone wants to kiss them. Just put that out of your mind. So anyway, that's gay face. Rifey, you're crushing it. And uh yeah, I'm sure you're gonna keep plaguing my algo for the rest of eternity.